In 2013, Voyager 1 achieved a historic milestone by becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. This remarkable achievement occurred 36 years after its departure from Earth. The space probe now resides 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, requiring nearly two days for the transmission and reception of messages. NASA engineers never anticipated that Voyager 1 would continue its space exploration for nearly half a century. In 2013, Voyager 1 detected 500 unidentified objects passing through space, sparking significant discussion. World-famous podcaster Joe Rogan joined the conversation to shed light on the alarming implications of this extraordinary discovery. These mysterious objects could be the work of extraterrestrial beings or a malfunction on the spacecraft. The Fermi paradox has captivated scientists for centuries, but the recent extraordinary encounter in deep space has sent shock waves through the scientific community, potentially shedding light on the age-old question of the existence of aliens. Joe Rogan, a prominent commentator and podcast host known for his keen interest in discussing aliens and the possibility of advanced civilizations, has previously hosted guests such as David Grush and Avi Loeb to explore the potential for life beyond Earth. The groundbreaking Voyager 1 mission was conceived in the 1970s when NASA scientists had the opportunity to truly grasp the scale of our cosmic neighborhood. It all began with an accidental alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the four largest planets in our solar system. A young PhD student named Gary Flandro discovered a remarkable celestial phenomenon that would change the course of space exploration. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, the four planets aligned in a mesmerizing formation resembling pearls on a cosmic necklace, with Earth nestled among them. This discovery sent ripples of excitement through NASA as it presented an unprecedented opportunity to optimize the trajectory of a space probe by cleverly utilizing the gravitational pull of each planet during flybys. Flandro estimated that these gravity assists from the giant planets could shrink the flight time between Earth and Neptune from 30 years to 12 years. However, this celestial alignment occurred only once every 176 years, so NASA embarked on an ambitious mission to capitalize on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were twin spacecraft launched in 1977 to explore the mysteries of the solar system and venture into interstellar space. Launched 15 days apart, they became integral parts of NASA's Voyager space program, a testament to humanity's insatiable curiosity and quest for knowledge. For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has been beaming back invaluable data to Earth through NASA's deep space network, bridging the gap between our terrestrial existence and the mysteries that lie beyond. Voyager 1's extraordinary journey is as mind-blowing as it is, as it is situated 24 billion kilometers away from Earth, making it the farthest man-made object from our planet. The space probe was meticulously designed and constructed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and embarked on its historic odyssey from Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, propelled by a Titan III-E launch vehicle. One key secret to Voyager 1's longevity is the presence of dual redundant computer systems. Both Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystems, ACS. This redundancy ensured smooth transitions between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer components when needed, effectively extending their lifespan. The computer systems aboard Voyager spacecraft were organized as a distributed system with three dual-redundant pairs of computers, ensuring that even if one system failed, the other could seamlessly take over, preventing mission-critical failures. Power management is a crucial element for maintaining the operational integrity of Voyager 1. As the spacecraft's distance from the sun, where it can harness solar energy, poses a significant challenge, engineers had to come up with innovative ways to conserve and optimize power usage, such as extraordinary selective power shutdowns of non-essential systems. In summary, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have been instrumental in uncovering the mysteries of the solar system and interstellar space, providing groundbreaking insights into the vastness of space and the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. Voyager 1 is a space traveler that has defied all expectations, sending back valuable information almost half a century after its launch. Initially designed to last only five years, 
Voyager 1 has been equipped with an impressive array of scientific instruments, suites, and subsystems. These instruments were strategically placed on the spacecraft's body, which consisted of a staggering 65,000 individual parts. One of the enduring instruments on both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 is the low-energy charged particle detector. This instrument boasts three sets of particle sensors that measure the number of low-energy particles that strike it as well as their speed. It diligently observes cosmic radiation and particles originating from the Sun, planets, and interstellar space. A companion instrument, the Cosmic Ray Instrument, actively seeks out highly energetic particles from both the Sun and other galactic sources. The Plasma Wave Subsystem, featuring two elongated antennas positioned at right angles to each other, serves as a vital tool for measuring the electrical field components of potential waves encountered at the outer planets. However, its role has evolved as the Voyagers ventured into interstellar space. Over the years, engineers have made remarkable technical advancements and improvements in power management techniques, including more efficient power distribution, improved battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. Voyager 1 continues to send back valuable information, demonstrating the dedication and skill of the scientists and engineers who have worked tirelessly to keep it operational. The Voyager probes, initially designed to investigate the magnetic fields of outer planets, have been undergoing significant changes as they transition into interstellar space. The magnetometer, initially designed to study the magnetic fields of outer planets, now plays a crucial role in exploring the transition region between interplanetary and interstellar media. This instrument is used to explore the magnetic characteristics of the transition region at the boundary where the Sun's magnetic influence interacts with and gives way to the magnetic field of interstellar space. The Plasma Science Instrument, which examines the lowest energy particles within the plasma, is currently operational only on Voyager 2. This instrument is a testament to the ongoing scientific exploration. NASA has systematically deactivated heaters on both spacecraft after 21 years of operation, and non-essential instruments have been permanently turned off. The power source for each spacecraft is three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which use the heat produced by the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 to generate electricity. As plutonium-238 continues to decay, it will eventually no longer be able to provide power, leading to the cessation of all instruments around 2025. To prolong the operational lifespan of both spacecraft until 2027, the Voyager team is employing meticulous power management techniques. Each probe is equipped with thrusters for maintaining communication with Earth, and the main transmitter emits approximately 20 watts of power. However, the strength of the signal from Voyager reaches Earth is 20 billion times weaker than that of a digital watch battery. Voyager 1's journey through space has not only expanded our understanding of the solar system, but has also provided crucial insights into the nature of the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles surrounding the Sun. As Voyager 1 moved further from the Sun, it began to experience different environmental conditions than those encountered by earlier spacecraft. One of its most significant contributions has been its role in mapping the structure of the heliosphere and its boundary, known as the heliopause. This boundary marks the transition between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, where the influence of the sun diminishes and the material from other stars begins to dominate. By sending back data from its plasma wave instrument, Voyager 1 has helped scientists better understand the behavior of plasma in this transitional zone. This data is critical for understanding how cosmic rays from outside the solar system interact with the heliosphere and how these interactions affect space weather. Such insights are essential not only for astrophysics but also for protecting future spacecraft and astronauts from harmful space radiation. Another remarkable aspect of Voyager 1's mission is its contribution to the study of magnetic fields. As Voyager 1 crossed the boundary into interstellar space, it provided the first direct measurements of the magnetic field beyond the solar influence. These measurements have been pivotal in enhancing our understanding of the magnetic environment of the interstellar medium. The data gathered helps scientists to model the magnetic interactions between different regions of space and understand how these interactions affect cosmic phenomena. Voyager 1's longevity and continued data transmission have also led to an improved understanding of the dynamics of cosmic dust. 
the spacecraft's dust detector has been instrumental in measuring the density and speed of interstellar dust particles. These measurements provide valuable information on the composition and distribution of dust in our galaxy, which in turn affects theories about star formation and the evolution of the interstellar medium. The spacecraft's ongoing mission has also shed light on the evolution of technology used in space exploration. The engineering feats achieved by Voyager 1's mission have set a precedent for future deep space missions. The innovative design and adaptability of Voyager 1 systems have influenced the development of subsequent spacecraft, demonstrating how engineering solutions can extend the life and effectiveness of space missions far beyond initial expectations. In addition to its scientific achievements, Voyager 1 carries with it a symbolic message to any potential extraterrestrial civilizations. The Golden Record, containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth, serves as a universal greeting and a testament to humanity's desire to reach out and share its existence with the cosmos. This message, along with the spacecraft's data, represents a significant milestone in humanity's quest to explore the universe and make contact with other intelligent beings. In conclusion, the Voyager probes have made significant strides in their exploration of interstellar space and the mysteries surrounding the discovery of 500 unidentified objects. Voyager 1, a space probe, has discovered 500 unknown objects in the depths of space, sparking a wave of concern among researchers. The initial data transmitted back to Earth was chaotic and resembled a garbled message from the cosmos. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was astonished by the confusion and discovered that the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AAC, had switched to using a faulty onboard computer that had been dormant for years. This led to distorted telemetry data. NASA engineers promptly resolved this issue by reconfiguring the AACs to transmit data through the correct computer. Uncorrupted data from Voyager 1 is now flowing once again. The question remains, what prompted the AACs to use the malfunctioning computer in the first place? NASA scientists have yet to provide a definitive answer, but have proposed a hypothesis suggesting that the AACs received an erroneous command from another onboard computer. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for the Voyager Interstellar mission, revealed that a comprehensive memory readout of the AACs will be conducted, followed by a thorough analysis of its operations to diagnose the root cause of the telemetry issue. Several factors could contribute to the anomaly, including the extreme environment of space, cosmic radiation, dramatic temperature fluctuations, and exposure to micrometeoroids such as dust particles and fragments from asteroids and comets. As Voyager 1 ventures into interstellar space, its plasma wave instruments have consistently detected the impacts of dust particles due to their high radial velocity. When a dust particle collides with a spacecraft, it instantaneously vaporizes and ionizes, generating an expanding plasma cloud that triggers a voltage pulse in the electric antenna of the plasma wave system. While various natural theories have been put forth to explain the glitch in Voyager 1's system, one possibility that captures the imagination and belongs in the realm of science fiction is the involvement of extraterrestrial beings. However, this theory is highly speculative and not widely accepted in the scientific community. The concept of intelligent extraterrestrial life has fascinated scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Joe Rogan, a popular podcaster and media personality, has explored this topic through conversations with researchers and UFO enthusiasts, particularly David Grush, a former Air Force intelligence officer and representative of the National Reconnaissance Office to the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. These discussions have added fuel to the curiosity surrounding Voyager 1's malfunction. Joe believes that the universe is vast, with billions of galaxies, stars, and potentially even more planets. The idea of intelligent civilizations elsewhere in the cosmos raises thrilling questions about their potential interactions with Earthlings. If these extraterrestrial beings stumbled upon Voyager 1, they might have noticed our spacecraft as it traversed the cosmos and decided to investigate it out of curiosity. This scenario proposes that the glitch could be their way of sending a cosmic message, a form of interstellar hello. The Golden Record, an extraordinary artifact aboard Voyager 1, serves as an interstellar time capsule intended for any intelligent life that might come across it. If alien beings manage to access the Golden Record, they would decode a wealth of information about Earth's cultures, languages, and the remarkable diversity of life on our planet. 
This raises profound questions about how they would interpret our music and art and what they might think of our languages and scientific knowledge.